Okay, we're gonna have a good time today. We're in Yellowstone National Park. So today we're at a Bridge Bay campground and we're gonna stay here for a couple nights. It's been about 60 degrees and it'll rain a little bit and then it'll get sunny. So you don't know if you wanna wear a hoodie or a t-shirt, but we're gonna make some Dutch oven pork chops and potatoes and like everything kinda in the cooler dish. But I'm gonna do this first step uh, over my camp stove then I got briquettes going there and we'll put it all together and cook it on the briquettes. So we just have a couple pork chops here. I uh, just put some uh, some pepper. This is some, um, tell them Jenny. Uh, our Himalayan, salt, Himalayan salt and peppers pepper. from our son's garden. Yeah, anyway. Okay, let's sear these up. So it's spicy, a salty spicy. So we're just gonna sear these pork chops just for a minute and then we'll uh put this put this dish together and then this is my grill leveler so put a stick under there and get it to where it's right. we are on a hill because <laughs> we're on a hill the lake's so down there Woo. this will just take a second to get these seared up and then we'll uh we'll be back to put this together see you back Okay, we're ready. These pork chops, they seared up quick. Hopefully the weather holds up, but I can feel a little rain. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull right these pork chops off. Here it comes. <laughs> this is what happens when you're cooking in the outdoors, but we're good, right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is this is medium pepper jam with pineapple. And we got this in Kauai, Hawaii. So I'm gonna glaze these pork chops up with this jam, like that. So I'm just gonna put some on this one side. And then when we do this, so what I'm gonna do is we have uh, some red onions. I'm just gonna put these in the bottom of the Dutch oven just to kind of raise these pork chops up off the bottom. So let's put that like that. And then let's see if I can do this. Whew, perfect. <laughs> that was pretty good. I think I've done that before, mm -hmm. but I haven't. <laughs> and let's put this, here comes the rain. We need to get the lid on this. But look at, this is just the perfect amount of jam. Let's just use it all up. The rain does feel refreshing. But uh, we're having a good time. That's Lake Yellowstone's like right there. Yellowstone Pretty Lake? cool. We're at, uh, I think the elevation here is 7,700 feet above sea level. But here we have some more red onions, some mushrooms, red peppers. I'm just gonna put these on top. It's we just could, what we had in the cooler. We could have used a little eight inch duct oven. But this is gonna work good. And then I'm just gonna, this is some russet potatoes. And we're gonna cook this at 400 degrees for probably, I'm guessing, 40 minutes or so. So there we have it. That's ready. Everything's getting wet. Let's put the lid back on and the coals will be done. They're not quite done, so in about five minutes, we'll get the coals going and then we'll see you back. Okay, the coals are ready. We're kind of pulled back under the shelter a little bit because it's been raining, but uh, we're gonna cook this at 400. So the 10 inch Dutch oven, I have eight briquettes on the bottom and I want 16 on top. So we'll just kind of do this. That looks like about 16, but I'll verify the count in a minute. And then we'll cook this for like 30 minutes and check it at that point. So yeah, see you back. <laughs> okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's check this out. It smells delicious. We kind of moved it out here by the fire pit to try and get a little warmth. But oh, oh my Ooh. heck. It's like lopsided a little bit. From the juice, I didn't use my leveling stick on this. 
Hmm. But let's look at this. I'm gonna try one of these potatoes. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> well, I think that's good. But now that I see that this isn't level, Jenny, I think I'm gonna let this just simmer here for like 10 minutes, and then we should be good to go. Okay. So, there we go. All right, here we go. This is good. This is smelling so good. But look at that. Delicious. And today we're eating pork chops in a bowl. <laughs> so let's get that out. Look at these potatoes. Oh, man. So good. That jam. Man, that is awesome. Let's go over here and let me try this out. So we cook this for what? Uh, probably like 35 minutes, huh, Jenny? <coughs> Sorry. <Sneeze. laughs> Sorry. But yeah, that's good. Mm. Oh, it's <laughs> tender. I don't think you've ever sneezed in a video before. Oh, well. Oh, man, that's good. That's tender. Looks pretty. Here, try it. Me? Yeah. Here. That is good. Oh man, you can taste the pepper and mm -hmm. everything. Mm hmm Those veggies. Yep. Onions. And that jam, you can yeah. I can taste that jalapeno and everything. Good yeah. flavors together. Potatoes. So yeah. There you go. Good times cooking pork chops in Yellowstone. If you like this but, uh, video, hit the like button, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.